process of buying a home can be exciting and rewarding, yet also daunting and intimidating. One of the most intimidating aspects of the home buying process is not knowing how much money you need to close on a home and come up with a down payment. Coming up with the necessary funds for a down payment can be a struggle for many, but proper planning and budgeting can be manageable. Don't let the belief that you need to save 20% hold you back. Understand 20% isn't always the typical down payment. Freddie Mac explains. Nearly a third of prospective homebuyers think they need a down payment of 20% or more to buy a home. This myth remains one of the largest perceived barriers to achieving home ownership. The amount of money you need for a down payment on a home will depend on several factors, including the type of mortgage you are using, the price of the home, and your credit score. Here are some general guidelines to help you understand how much you might need for a down payment. Conventional loans A conventional loan is a mortgage not insured or guaranteed by the government. Private lenders offer these loans and are typically available to borrowers with good credit and a stable income. If you are using a conventional loan to purchase a home, you will typically need to put down at least 5% of the purchase price. However, some lenders may require a higher down payment, especially if you have a lower credit score or if you are purchasing a more expensive home. FHA Loans An FHA loan is a mortgage that is insured by the Federal Housing Administration, FHA. These loans are designed to help people with moderate to low incomes or less than perfect credit to buy a home. If you are using an FHA loan, you may be able to put down as little as 3.5% of the purchase price, although some lenders may require a higher down payment. VA Loans A VA loan is a mortgage that is guaranteed by the Department of Veterans Affairs, VA. These loans are available to veterans, active military members, and certain other groups. If you are eligible for a VA loan, you may be able to put down as little as 0% of the purchase price, depending on your lender and your circumstances. Unless specified by your lender or loan type, it's generally unnecessary to put 20% down. This means you may be closer to achieving your home ownership goal than you think. According to the National Association of Realtors, the median down payment hasn't been over 20% since 2005. In fact, the current median down payment is only 14%, and for first-time homebuyers it's even lower at 6%. You need to know that even if you are eligible for 0% down of the purchase price with a mortgage program, like the VA loan, you may still need to pay closing costs, which are fees associated with buying a home. These fees can include things like lender fees, appraisals, and title insurance. It is also important to know that low down payment loan borrowers are required to pay private mortgage insurance, PMI. PMI is insurance that protects a lender in the event that a borrower defaults on their mortgage. It is typically required when a borrower makes a down payment of less than 20% of the purchase price of a home. When you take out a mortgage, you borrow money from a lender to purchase a home. If you cannot make your mortgage payments, the lender may be at risk of losing money. To protect themselves against this risk, lenders may require borrowers to pay for PMI. The good news is that PMI can help you qualify for a mortgage if you don't have a large enough down payment, but it can also increase your monthly mortgage payments. Some borrowers choose to avoid PMI by making a larger down payment or by choosing a mortgage product that does not require PMI. If you want to buy a home this year, don't let the down payment hold you back. It is a good idea to speak with a lender to understand your options. A mortgage lender can help you understand the different types of available mortgages and help you choose the one best suited to your financial situation. They can also explain the terms and conditions of different mortgage products so that you can make an informed decision. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, 
and subscribing to my channel for more real estate tips and insights.